Hey, how's it going all you hunters out there? Bo here from BZ App, and today I wanted to do a quick video just showing kind of how I approach multiplayer maps, and maybe it'll help you when you go to play multiplayer maps in the Hunter Call of the Wild, so let's get into it, everyone. So here we are in Rancho Del Arroyo. You can tell uh, I've, I've gone a little bit of distance. The first thing I usually do when I arrive on a new map is, uh, well, if something's calling to you, you might want to try to figure out what that is. But first off, I always like to open up the map and just see where everyone else is. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're not hunting where someone else is. First off, you could be scaring away uh, their game. They could be scaring away your game. Uh, calamity, uh, to say the least. So I always just make sure that I am in an area that doesn't have other people there unless I'm working together with them. I don't know. I just try to avoid people all together. The second thing I like to do is look at what time it is. It's 1.48 in the afternoon right now. It's not a whitetail uh, drink zone time, so we're not going to be looking around the lakes, but things might be resting nearby, so that could be something we check out. Now, if you know where some need zones are and that might fall into a uh, 1.49 right now, then feel free to uh, give it a try. Go to those need zones that you might know on your own map and go see what there is. But what I can recommend, despite need zones and all of that, is that people People show up to multiplayer maps most likely to hunt tents to hunt cabins outposts if you will um, and and they don't want to go much further than that they've come to this place they're gonna go to uh, this outpost here they're gonna run around this lake and then maybe they'll call it quits or they might go to another lake and that's all they're going to do so the first thing I can recommend if you're gonna go after a diamond if you're gonna go after a big animal of any sort check out a spot that you know will be animals uh, that is not close to an outpost. Maybe you check this out on your own map so that you can see But uh, this is a great example. We have an outpost way over here on the left side What are the chances? There's no tent nearby that someone is going to take the time to walk all the way over here to where I am right now and uh, and look for a big animal a big diamond whitetail or anything else that might be in the area pretty slim everyone and so that was the first thing I did and I will say though we just got a call for it we did pick up a 187 to 220 uh, whitetail which you know could be good could it could not be but uh, yeah we have a chance for a pretty good sized whitetail everyone now obviously right now I'm using the 270 if you're following along with our beginner series in 2022 we restarted and the best place I decided uh, for a beginner in 2022 is here in Rancho Del Arroyo, so that's where we are. We just unlocked the 270, so we have a little extra firepower against these whitetail, and uh, definitely, definitely doing work. Well, we found some, no, we found a doe anyway. We can scan these two deer here, and thanks to the uh, skills that we have, we can see they're both 154 to 187, so they're not the 187 to 220 that we picked up at the track for, which means he's got to be somewhere else. Let's take a look at these mule deer running up here on the top of the hill, seeing if there was anything nice. There's a pretty big group of them, too. And uh, had a whitetail making noise towards me as well, so we're just finding all sorts of deer over here. Oh my goodness. What are the chances, seriously? On the run now, I considered taking a shot on it. <sighs> a legendary Mexican bobcat. What are the chances, seriously? Chasing down a whitetail, we find a bobcat. It's getting real, it's getting real. I think the pressure is on me because I know I have a live stream in like nine minutes. <laughs> Which is a great plug-in every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Check us out. Fishing and hunting fun. Ooh, that is the track and that is the call. We weren't in such a bad location right here with all these hills. I would just call it with the predator call. But I would rather be up on a hill looking down than in these hills right now. Couldn't ask for a much wider open spot to see your animal. Fortunately, just not seeing it. Oh, I can see her kind of move. Him, him, him moving. Mine here, anyway. There he is. 
Waiting for that perfect broadside shot. Come on, big boy. What is this 180 turn he keeps doing? Driving me crazy. Anticipation. Feed us. Send one right up the middle there. I'm hoping, hoping that the lungs weren't too much lower than where I shot. That is the new Zarza 223 there. Hoping, hoping, yeah, that's a decent, decent. Get that vital there as well. Oh, there we go. There we go. And that is our downed bobcat there here in Mexico, Rancho Del Arroyo. It is a diamond, 28.6. That is awesome. And just sitting there, sitting there looking at it, definitely going to hit that, uh, well, I guess we'll, uh, throw it in here, huh? Highballed, olive, we'll overwrite this guy. Top notch. Starting a new game. I don't have don't even have enough money to tax optimize it <laughs> That is too awesome though perfect example of how you can get onto a multiplayer map that you've never you've never been on before obviously there's tons of people out there and how you can take a look at where people are uh, what the need zones are what time of day it is and then use your knowledge of where all the outposts and tents are to explore an area that no one else has been to and you just might find something like we found here today the legendary diamond Mexican Bobcat that's too awesome the whole started because we were chasing down a whitetail track so uh yeah just happy accident but that's exactly what can happen to you here in a multiplayer map in the hunter call of the wild so hey if it was helpful make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more videos in the future fishing hunting outdoor fun digital and in real life BZ Hub, everyone. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. As I said before, if you want to check us out on our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. Really look forward to seeing you there. But until next time, everyone, take care. And as always, remember, everyone, we're one planet, one family. Game on.